which of the following does not cause left ventricular failure a mitral stenosis b acute myocardial infarction c mitral regurgitation d aortic stenosis correct answer a mitral stenosis even though mitral stenosis causes left heart failure and pulmonary edema due to elevated left atrial pressure the left ventricle does not fail in mitral stenosis as it is underfilled all the other conditions can cause left ventricular failure which of the following is not a glycoprotein 2b 3a inhibitor a abcixumab b clopidogrel c eptifibatide d tyrofiban correct answer b clopidogrel glycoprotein 2b 3a inhibitors inhibit the final common pathway of platelet aggregation clopidogrel inhibits adp dependent platelet aggregation Abcixumab is a monoclonal antibody which inhibits glycoprotein 2b3a inhibitor while eptifibatide and tyrofiban are smaller molecules with similar function epsilon wave is seen in a brugada syndrome b tachycardiomyopathy c wpw syndrome d arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia correct answer d arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia also known as arrhythmogenic right ventricular cardiomyopathy is a condition characterized by fibro fatty degeneration of the right ventricle and recurrent ventricular tachycardia epsilon wave is also called post excitation wave akin to the pre excitation wave seen in wpw syndrome eisenmega complex is pulmonary hypertension with right left shunt in a atrial septal defect b ventricular septal defect c patent ductus arteriosus d tetralogy of fallow correct answer b ventricular septal defect eisenmenga complex is the specific term for pulmonary hypertension and reversal of shunt in ventricular septal defect the term eisenmenga syndrome covers the shunts at atrial ventricular and great artery level example ast vst and pda Tetralogy of fallow is a low pulmonary blood flow situation in which pulmonary hypertension will not occur. Dome and dart P wave is seen in A left atrial rhythm, B right atrial rhythm, C sinus rhythm, D junctional rhythm. Correct answer A left atrial rhythm. The dome and dart P wave in left atrial rhythm is seen in lead V1. The initial dome represents the left atrial activation and the terminal dart represents the right atrial activation. Other features of left atrial rhythm are inverted P waves in inferior and lateral leads. Calcium sign has been described in A mitral stenosis, B constrictive pericarditis, C dissection of aorta, D aortic stenosis. Correct answer C dissection of aorta. Though calcification of cardiac structures can be seen in all the other three conditions, calcium sign is the separation of the intimal calcium from the border of the aortic knuckle seen on X-ray chest PA view. Brugada syndrome is characterized by a left bundle branch block pattern with ST segment elevation in right precordial leads, b right bundle branch block pattern with ST segment depression in left precordial leads. C left bundle branch block pattern with ST segment elevation in left precordial leads D right bundle branch block pattern with ST segment elevation in leads V1 to V3 Correct answer D right bundle branch block pattern with ST segment elevation in leads V1 to V3 Brugada syndrome was described by Brugada brothers Pedro Joseph and Ramon in their seminal paper in 1992 It has a propensity for life threatening ventricular arrhythmias and sudden cardiac death. Atrial arrhythmias have also been described later. Though drugs like quinidine and silostrozol have been noted to reduce the frequency of arrhythmia, the only life saving treatment option available is the implantation of an implantable defibrillator. Which of the following is the most sensitive blood test to detect acute myocardial infarction? A creatinine phosphokinase B cardiac troponins C lactate dehydrogenase D aspartate aminotransferase Correct answer B cardiac troponins Cardiac troponins are highly sensitive for detecting myocardial infarction 
they are also quite specific. Since troponins remain elevated for about two weeks, they are not very useful in the diagnosis of early reinfarction. Creatinine phosphokinase and B isoenzyme will be useful in the diagnosis of early reinfarction. All of the following are true of Belhasen's tachycardia except A. Relatively narrow QRS complex B. Response to verapamil C. Originates in the right ventricular outflow tract D. Also known as idiopathic fascicular ventricular tachycardia Correct answer C. Originates in the right ventricular outflow tract Belhasen's tachycardia originates in the region of the posterior fascicle of the left ventricle Hence, it is also known as posterior fascicular tachycardia. The other types of fascicular ventricular tachycardias are anterior fascicular tachycardia and septal fascicular tachycardia. These come under the general heading of idiopathic left ventricular tachycardias. Which of the following rhythms is taken as a marker of successful ablation of atrioventricular nodal reentrant tachycardia? A. Ventricular tachycardia B. Sinus rhythm C. Junctional rhythm D. Atrial fibrillation Correct answer C. Junctional rhythm Usually, a short run of accelerated junctional rhythm occurs during successful radiofrequency catheter ablation of AVNRT. Non-inducibility of tachycardia is an important criterion for success. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.